Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are gonna work on a weekend whip of mine. I wanted to get this filmed because the last few days I haven't really been up to it, so I thought we would do this. So the whip I have is in Fragile World. And anyways, I'm sorry guys, I didn't say welcome or hello or anything to all the new subscribers. My brain's kind of all over the place, but I thought we would try to finish this up. I have some ideas of, I want to try to turn this into a mixed media piece. I've already used some ink tents. So I pulled out my ink tents and some watercolor pencils and also some water-based markers. Even though these are the color of the world markers, I thought I could finish the bottom half of the otter in marker um, to make it more of a lighter tone. So I'm going to bring you in. I'm sorry I'm kind of over the place, but I wanted to finish this up and just kind of sit here and chat with you and kind of get you guys all up to speed of what's going on in my world. So, well, hi. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I haven't been feeling the greatest. That's why there hasn't been the new content that I was talking about yet on the channel. So I'm working on it, guys. But um, I just, like I said, I've had some health issues since I've had COVID in November. So. Um, things have been kind of a little bit, you know, kind of off whack for me. So, but hopefully here I'm getting some of it figured out here within the next two weeks. I have a upcoming procedure that will get me some more answers with what's going on. Um, and in February, I had an abnormal CT scan. Uh, um, so hopefully, like I said, we'll get some answers with uh, this procedure and know what my next steps are. So, and as I know more, I'll let you guys all know because you guys are kind of my community. I'm very thankful for all the new subscribers that have recently subscribed and it means a lot to me. Um, I hope that you guys will continue to subscribe and um, hit that like button. That always helps and the bell notifications. You know, it can be pesky but it helps bring my channel into the search. So, um, all that helps me. And then once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing a little giveaway for um, US only. I haven't figured out all the details, but um, I'm, as a way of showing my thank you and appreciation for you and your support. So, and I haven't fig figured out the prize yet or anything for it. So, I'll get there when, figure that all out when my sub subscriber count goes to 500. So... Right now I'm using uh, Field Green in my Derwent Ink Tents. I only have a few open stock. Um, I am hoping to buy some more. Um, I would actually really like to get the full set of the Ink Tents. But one thing at a time. 
So, anyways. So, yeah. So, this is field green. I'm basically putting down a base layer. And I'm going to try to shade with some watercolor pencils or, like I said, activate this and shade with another color because this is actually really, really bright. And I'm just using my basic water brush to, to activate it. I know I've had some people want to see some of the mixed media side, so this is part of that. I'm still working on filming my How to Draw series. I'm going to be starting to film that soon as, as I'm slowly you know, figuring things out here with it. So that's still on, still on the market, or still on the horizon. And I will be doing some like collage pro uh, projects too. I just, with me not feeling the greatest, I haven't had a lot of motivation to really film anything, guys. So I just ask that you bear with me. So, while I'm figuring stuff out, um, I've done a lot of, you know, just resting and taking time for myself. Believe it or not, I've spent a lot of time in bed, sleeping and off and on and watching TV. <laughs> I kind of got myself into the res a new series called The Resident. I've seen clips on Facebook so I decided to check it out and it was actually a really cool medical drama show so I'm excited about that. So lots of interesting things. So what you guys watching um, in the comments or the latest movie that you've so, uh, kind of working my way through my streaming service uh, subscriptions to find some new hot stuff to watch. So there's some stuff on Disney Plus that I gotta get over to watching too. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Oh, I hope you get. See what I'm doing here. So I'm working on the green edge here. Um, let's see, what else have I been up to? Besides watching TV, I started reading um, The Rogue Artist Survival Guide by Rafi Perez. Um, amazing, amazing book. I am having, I got it off of a free trial of Audible and it is amazing. Rafi is actually here on YouTube too with Rafi's, well, the Rafi and Klee Adventure channel and then um, Rafi was here studios. Um, he had Rafi, uh, they have that channel. If you guys ever get a chance, you should go check it out. His rants are amazing about things and just, the advice that they give to other artists is the best advice that um, that I've um, have gotten as an artist, and I really enjoy. Like I said, they're kind of dark right now, but they've got a lot of stuff on their YouTube channel, and to, you can catch up with. You could check out the book on Audible. Um, I'll put a note down in the description about the book and then uh, leave a link to their channel so you guys can go check them out and show them love. Um, I really enjoy watching the Motivational Monday videos. Um, 
that's like a artist pick me up um, that you normally don't get. So, um, and it also sometimes helps with my mental health or it's just, you know, just something that we all need to hear to keep going and motivating, which I'm working on drawing more and being more intuitive besides the adult coloring because I one day want to get back to my painting and learning how to paint some of these like images like this. I mean this is gorgeous and inspiring artwork. I just love Kirby's work but I want to do my own <laughs> and besides just coloring it in coloring books. I've got, I'm starting to become an art book reference hoarder. <laughs> um, thanks to Goodwill in St. Paul, which I am planning on making a stop on Monday over there when I go see my sister. So, and spend time with family celebrating my birthday. So, um, my birthday was last Sunday, which was, uh, amazing. I had a quiet day and then my neighbor took me out to dinner and then I made the most amazing, awesome carrot cake, which is my favorite. And I had, I watched a live stream, um, what else did I do? I, uh, my phone was going off crazy. I talked to family off and on throughout the day. My Facebook was going crazy. So with birthday well wishes from friends, um, from high school to other friends that I haven't talked to in a while. Yeah, so it was, it was a nice day. I did have a huge birthday haul video that I had filmed, but it ended up being two parts and I'm still trying to figure out how to edit them together so at least you can see the haul. Otherwise, I won't have a haul video for this month. So, but I don't know guys. I was wondering if you guys actually really like seeing the hauls or would you want to see more tutorial stuff because I've been thinking a lot about how I want the channel to be and I just don't want you know all haul videos I want I want content and I feel like most of my videos I've got on there are just hauls and some color. I'm just starting to get the coloring stuff, but I want to do more of the mixed media, like putting, you know, working on my art journal and doing some gel printing tutorials and drawing and stuff for that side because I want to do my own art too, besides just showing you guys me coloring and coloring books. Which I still do that. It's just I want to have a multifaceted channel. And, you know, I want to eventually teach. So I thought, so that's why I'm kind of like, eh, do I really want to do hauls? Do I want to promote product? Do I want to be an influencer? Do I want to do all of that? And I'm kind of thinking I don't want to do that because there are enough people out on YouTube that are doing that. And I just thought it would just be kind of better to do my own thing. I mean, and actually do the products or do the tutorials and stuff like that instead of just worrying about a haul every month about what I'm buying. <sighs> You know, I'm no, sorry for the, the big sigh, but anyways, I just, 
I'm just thinking. So that's why I kind of wanted to, you know, just kind of get that out there and see, get an opinion, you know. Because honestly, guys, I buy stuff once a month. Um, sometimes I got stuff kind of straggling in the month or I pick up something to test out. But I just don't want to buy stuff that I see because someone else is buying it. I want to buy what I need for this studio and for this channel. And that's it. So that's why I'm just kind of thinking about all that and stuff so I mean I definitely can show coloring book flip throughs and coloring book collection but there are a lot of people that do that and they're buying coloring books from all over the place so I mean I don't know leave me a comment on your thoughts or if anybody's got any suggestions in the comment um, I will also put my email in the description if you don't want to leave a comment but you want to email me um, I, that way too. So just kind of, you know, see where everybody's at. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean... To be honest with you, my life is kind of boring <laughs> right now. I mean, it's not really that boring, but it, it's, it is because being disabled, I mean, right now there's just, not a lot going on and especially with the price of gas, I, I mean, I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, I got to make sure that I'm activating this with my water brush, not my alcohol. <clears throat> Testing. I will have to say these Kirby books can take a lot of a lot of interesting oops. That's ink. I'll have to fix that. Um can definitely take some beat up here because it's taking water. Of course I'm not I'm not putting a lot of water on here. Just because I don't want it to and tear down the paper because this is a double sided piece of a paper, double sided image. So, I don't have to say. Now, if you notice, I have some, some mistakes going here. That's just because of the nature of this. So, I'm not perfect, guys. I do color outside the lines every once in a while, you know. We get those oopsies. Actually, I'm going to switch to my alcohol marker. Which I didn't clean it off from the last time. Darn it. Piece of scratch paper.
There we go, guys. Better, better, better. Don't get me wrong. I like activating them with a water brush, but like I said, I don't want to ruin the paper because of the image behind it. Because I want to color that one too, guys. Sorry, I'm getting quiet. <laughs> kind of concentrating here. Now, I'm not being super fancy with coloring because, you know, obviously I will activate this and stuff. So. And then I can go back and take my watercolor pencils and do some shading on this, I think. I think, I think, I think. See what I'm doing here. So well I'm definitely testing out what works and what doesn't work in this book. I primarily have used a lot of I primarily only use color pencils. Just because this is a double-sided spread. So. And I am working on getting my stack smaller of pages that I picked out for the next couple months here. So hopefully here, now that I'm kind of, I've gotten some extra rest and stuff I will start feeling motivated to wanting to color more because we still have our color and chat we have to finish up um, and then I want to pick I've got one picked out for the next one that I'm hoping will be will go a lot quicker instead of all of these individual parts because I've noticed that these individual parts aren't getting as big of view as my first one views on it and I want to work on you know getting more views and doing different books not just the same one so, kind of expanding. Obviously this book has a, a big meaning to my heart because I love animals and I'm actually coloring all except for two images in this for my nephew Noah. So, and then I will be buying a second copy of this book and doing it again because I love Kirby's work when I'm all done. So, so that I can do it for myself. Now, I did pick up another Kirby book for my birthday, which I'm excited. I know he's got a new one coming out that I can't wait for. Already on my list to buy. So, yeah. So, 
So what are you guys all working on? Um, Duffel and your whips. I'm one that I try to finish my whips and not leave them for a long period of time. Just because I, I want to finish pages. I just don't want to leave pages undone. Um, I guess that's just me. I know I've seen a lot of people just kind of leave them for a couple of years and not do them and stuff like that. And so that's why I'm kind of curious. What's, how do you guys do your whips? Are you like me, wanting to get it done, or leave them and kind of move on, or do you abandon it because you don't like the color palette you've chose, or whatnot? I'm just going over that bubble for now. I will be um, doing something else with the little bubbles. So, I'm going to get a point back because I like having a sharp point. So, I'm going to try to get all the screenage done here while I've got you guys on camera. Hopefully I can get this up tomorrow on YouTube and get it uploaded. So there's a video. I am shooting for a goal of trying to, once I get this health situation figured out, I'm going to shoot to try to upload more frequently, like uh, two times a week, do a whip and do the color along and then Hopefully as I get the other projects figured out, like with my art journal and things like that, planning for the mixed media side, then I will have more content for everybody. So that's kind of what I'm working on as a goal. Um, I don't think it will happen uh, in the next, maybe I am trying to, like I said, I gotta get what I've got figured out here. So, and then work on getting that accomplished. I hope that will be happening here within the next couple months. So there's more frequent content in the search. And like I said, I'm learning about the algorithm and tagging and things like that. While I'm working on learning how to video edit. Because once I get some new equipment as my finances get better. Um, I want to, you know, get make better content, I guess. So, I don't want to be fancy in video editing, but I at least want to look like I know what I'm doing for basic editing. So, I think I got an idea. So, so yeah. Let me Yeah. I think 
I'm going to, after this, I'll finish with you all the green edge and then I'm going to call it because my stomach is rumbling and I have to make dinner for myself um, and do the dishes. I got an adult, guys. No fun. Adulting is not fun when it when it's just you and your studio buddy, which he's doing really well. <laughs> Spoiled rotten as ever. So not. Actually, he's not even in here right now in the bedroom where I film at. So yeah. He's uh, out on the couch, so I had to kick him out of the chair so I could film. He wasn't too happy with me. So, he's been, he's been my, he's, Toby's been my, comfort, my companion through all of me not feeling good and this isolate, you know, the being at home all the time because gas is astronomically high and you can't really go anywhere. And if you want to go out to the restaurant, it's high. So <laughs> he's been, you know, kind of, he's been my buddy. So Plus, I'm also trying to keep myself healthy. Um, now that I have this procedure coming up, I have to test for COVID a couple days beforehand. And I have to go through this nasty prep and stuff. But I'm very thankful that my sister is coming with me since I won't be alone through the process. So, that's huge. And like I said, I'm going to go see my nephews and my brother and Ellie and go hang out for, hang out together. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. I don't know what else to say. I'm still trying to get used to talking to a camera. And this whole thing. So. Eventually, I'll learn how to speed the video up and put everything to music in the video editing process and have cool videos where it won't be so long but yeah and other than that, I mean, there's a lot going on, and my world. activate some of this.
even figure out what I'm going to call her. These dang fishies. I'm not a big fish person. starting to look good underneath there like I said I'm gonna do some shading and filling in and stuff and things like that I'm not completely done with all of this I guess I was somehow completely activated. Over here. Like you said, this is my first time using Intense. So, it's a little kind of still learning the ropes here, guys. Like I said, I'm new to this. Hopefully, by the next time we meet on film again, we can finish some more of this one together. Or I might just finish it off just to get it done. I will be posting pictures on Instagram since this is going to be part of the hashtag crazy kirby -thon. So you'll have to check over there on my Instagram. So. Because right now my community tab isn't activated yet. I need the 500 subscribers to get that started. And then once I get that done, I will post pictures there and post updates and stuff. So, which that's my goal I want to meet with this. Oops. 
So yeah. Sorry I'm so quiet. I'm just kind of focused on getting this done and then we're going to end the video there. So for now. Do, do, do. Let's get the last part and then we'll Okay guys, there you have the uh, have it there. So, I just one more section done. Hopefully here I will get this all finished up. So within the next day or two or even this evening well i will hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i look forward to talking to you all on the next video just remember to just remember that you guys that you are loved always and you are loved and cherished and appreciated um, it, by me and by Toby and stuff and like I said take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next video 
Bye.